Brett and Plotz had experimental, there was experimental work at this location in 1929. The Department of Soils had a number of sites scattered around central Alberta to try and find out the fertility status of the soil. In 1930, they decided to expand that work into what is now the Breton plots as we know them. And a, ver a number of different plant nutrients and lime and manure were added to the different plots. So the plots have been running since 1930 as we see them here. Now, there have been quite a few lessons learned from the Breton plots. One of the first ones was that this soil is quite low in the plant nutrient sulfur because the geology of the rocks underneath is, is low in sulfur. Uh, it took quite a while for everybody to be convinced that sulfur was the problem. We have also learned that nitrogen is short and that is true of these forest soils. Nitrogen is low, the supply is poor. We later learned that the soil was borderline acidity and it did not take very much to tip the balance in, uh, towards more acidity such that alfalfa, for example, wouldn't grow and barley was probably restricted. And so uh, lime was uh, added as a treatment to correct that. It is also shown very early that these soils cake and bake very badly. The little seedlings can't get out of the ground. Uh, but with uh, use of crop rotations, including grasses and legumes, and with the use of farmyard manure, the soil tilth is improved a great deal, and we don't have nearly the same problem with the crops emerging uh, from the soil in the spring. So there have been a lot of things learned. Over a hundred scientific papers have been published by work related in whole or in part to, uh, to the Breton plots. And you cannot do all soil fertility, soil management work on long-term plots, but some of that work needs to be done where we can follow what happens over not just a year, not just four years, but over decades, perhaps over centuries. The Rothamsted experiments in England have been going since 1843. We are quite a bit short of that yet.